a real life story. Please hear me out and help me. I was dating a guy. When I got pregnant, he denied it and his parents supported him in denying the pregnancy. As a result, they relocated him to the United States, leaving me with the pregnancy all alone. Two months later, I met a guy who decided to be with me even though I was pregnant for someone else. He supported me right through birth. After giving birth, he enrolled me in a training center and paid for it all. It's been five years since we've been together. My whole family knows him. He plans to wed me in two months' time. Everything is set for the wedding. But the problem is, my baby daddy is back. He has apologized to me, and he's ready to take me back with his child. If I confess I'm still in love with him, he might take me to the States with him. This is an opportunity for me and my child, and I can't miss that. I want to go back to be with him now. I have falling in love with him again. I see a better opportunity, a soft life with him. But I'm afraid to hurt the other good man who has been an angel to myself and my child. How do I make him understand my feelings and decision without him feeling betrayed and hurt? It's true that he's made lots of sacrifices for me, but I must not be a hypocrite towards him, because in my heart he is not my kind. His love and sacrifices are not enough for me at this moment. My observations. Yes, I know that nothing is absolute in life. There is always an exception. But is it possible that those who advise against marrying a woman with child have some good reasons and justifications that must not be downplayed? Should we take their advice seriously? Do you agree with their advice or not? Honestly, this situation looks simple, but it defies logic. One, this second guy was all there for this lady, and I may even call him her savior who wiped out her shame and tears. Two, the lady stated that her good Samaritan savior is not her speck. Three, she's still in love with her jilted lover. What an odd world. I don't want to be a prophet of doom. So let me read comments to add to my knowledge. What at all makes some of our single moms treat great men like this? What type of ingratitude and wickedness is this? Does anyone cares about the betrayal and damage this good man is going to live and deal with for the rest of his life? Do women truly value or care about good men? Kindly share your views and let's learn from one another's perspective on this real life story. Thanks for watching. Kindly consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you.